Hello friends, this video on food, where does it come from, part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Fine. Now let's come back to vegetables and fruits. So again, we eat a huge variety of vegetables and fruits. So we, you might be curious to know which part of the plant is, the, is that particular vegetable or fruit. So let's talk about each vegetable one by one. So we start with onion. So what do you think onion is? Is it a fruit of a plant or a stem or a root or which part of the plant is onion? So you might be surprised to know that onion is a root of the plant. It is basically the root. So if you have ever seen the onion plant, you would see that the onion remains under the ground and above the ground is the stem. So we basically eat the root. Talk about beet. So beet again is the root of the plant. So this also remains below the ground. Talk about brinjal. What do you think is brinjal? So brinjal is not under the ground. Brinjal is above the ground and brinjal is actually a fruit of a plant. Think of capsicum. Capsicum again is a fruit of the plant. Capsicum is like a, a kind of chili. Peas. What are peas? So the part of the peas which we eat that is basically the seeds. What we eat are the seeds. Think of cabbage. Can you guess which part of the plant is cabbage? So what do you have in the cabbage? All you can see are nothing but leaves. It is like layers of leaves and leaves. Because cabbage is nothing but it, these are the leaves of the plant. Potato. Potato again is a stem of the plant which is again very hard to believe that how can potato be a stem it looks like a fruit or something so how can it be stem and the interesting part about potato is that if you have ever observed a potato plant you would have seen that the potato is always under the ground so a lot of people presume that since it is under the ground so it has to be root but that is not necessary so potato is a special case which has an underground stem now how do we prove that a potato is a stem? So normally when you look at any plant, which part is the stem? So that, that part which is above the ground and that part which holds the buds and flowers and fruits. So that's the stem. So when you look at potato, you would have seen that there are marks of potatoes like tiny dot like structures which are called eyes of potatoes. And these eyes of potatoes are actually the birds on potatoes which we later form flowers. So if you have ever observed that if you keep a potato for a very very long time you would see that from these dot like structures some green structures develop and you actually get to see some flower kind of thing developing out of those eyes of potato which tells you that that is the stem because the stem is able to bear the birds and the uh, leaves and uh, uh, flowers and all that. So potato is a stem. Talk about spinach. So spinach is definitely, they are the leaves. That's very evident. Think of cauliflower. So it is called cauliflower because it is actually flower of the plant. The pumpkin. So pumpkin is a fruit. So it is a fruit, quite a big fruit of a plant. And then when you talk about other fruits like apple, mango, pineapple or even tomato. So these are all fruits of plants. In fact, that is why they are often called fruits as well. Now, the, the controversy is that we call apple, mango, banana, pineapple as fruits. But when it comes to tomato or when it comes to brinjal, we do not call them fruit. We categorize them as vegetables. But actually, they are also fruits of some plants, whether it is capsicum or tomato or brinjal. So this way you see uh, which are all the vegetables which we eat they are actually different different parts of plants. So basically what we learned is when you look at the different parts of the plant many parts of the plant are edible. So the stem is edible, roots are edible, uh, flowers edible, fruits are edible, seeds are edible but that doesn't mean that all parts of every plant would be edible because so you should not try out tasting any part of the plant because many a times a lot of part, plant parts are extremely poisonous. So they can even cause death if consumed. So therefore you should not experiment out just trying to taste any part of the plant. 
but yes there are different it is not necessary that only fruits of plants are edible or it is not necessary that only seeds of plants are edible so different plants have different edible parts so let me give you an example where you will see that for this particular plant you have multiple parts which are edible which are consumed so think of the coriander plant which is called dhania here is more commonly in india so this is how the coriander plant looks like so when you look at its leaves so the leaves of coriander are very commonly used in various dishes so it is also used for garnishing purposes it is also used to make pickles and chutneys so it, it's very commonly used so the leaves are edible so we eat the leaves of coriander plant we also eat the seeds so if you look at its seeds this is how it looks and i'm sure you'd have seen these in your kitchen so they are also used in a lot of dishes in fact we often we also make spice out of it so these seeds of coriander they are like crushed to form a spice called the coriander powder so the coriander powder is again a very common ingredient in preparing a lot of uh, recipes so you see the same plant where leaves are also edible seeds are also edible so similarly you have many other plants where multiple parts are also edible but yes please remember that you are not supposed to experiment out trying to try to taste parts of unknown plants because you never know which parts uh, will be poisonous for your body right so so this was one thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again